Just when you think that you've seen everything in the world, the UAE goes, nope, here's another one. We are here at Abu Dhabi Autonomous Racing League. In simple words, this is the AI version of Formula 1. Six teams from across the globe compete against each other for the title. This is the second edition of the A2R being held in the UAE. And as you can see, the crowd is going wild. There are a bunch of events lined up. The first one is the Human vs AI event. Former Formula 1 driver Daniel Kuyet will be driving this Formula 1 car and will be going head to head with the reigning champion. Answer to the age-old question: Are humans or AI better? It looks like humans have triumphed once again. Some information about the technology that goes into these cars. Yeah, that's I can answer. So. Oh, great! So we have this car is quite a number of sensors. We have three lidars, uh -huh. seven cameras around the vehicle and uh, four radars. Also, we have GPS positioning system, IMU, teaser sensor. So that's all the sensors that cars need to have in order to understand what's happening around itself. And we have computers that need to process this data in the blink of an eye because it's, it's racing high speed. You cannot have delays. You need to process data as quickly as possible and make decisions. So it's not only just get the data, you need to make a decision based on this data. So that's what we do on our side as a team responsible for software that controls the vehicle. So we develop this AI. All right, and the race is complete and we have a winner. This is the winning team with us. The team is called TUM, all the way from Germany. Hi, Tugera. Uh, I'm Simon. I'm from the Technical University of Munich. And we are from the Thomas Honobos Motorsport team. And we uh, successfully won the race today in h We started working on autonomous racing five years ago. Uh, so everything that we saw today is really the work of dozens of PhD engineers, dozens of researchers, dozens of students putting a lot of work. However, I think Unimo Racing would have also deserved the win today. They improved so much compared to last year as well. They were so fast on a single lap. They successfully did the overtake on us. It's a shame that they did lose, but in the end, it's racing, everything can happen. Now, to be honest with you, going into tonight, I was a little skeptical. I was worried that events like this might soon replace Formula One as we know it. But after tonight, I feel like I've been proven wrong. This might just be a parallel to Formula 1. As you can see, there's a huge team working behind each car. They've put in a lot of hard work, a lot of effort, and of course, a lot of resources as well. And looking at the smiling faces of each of the team members, especially the winners, I don't think that this is any less of an event as Formula 1. But the biggest takeaway here is that technology is growing at a rapid pace. And from what I can see right now, I feel like there's going to be a lot more events like this coming up. And we are fairly certain that we will be at the forefront of it bringing you each and every side of such events.